Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Ali8. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Xbox One, checking out everything that's inside and uh, taking a look basically for you guys. Hopefully you guys really enjoy this video. Of course I did this for the PlayStation 4. You guys showed a lot of support for that. If you want to give this video a thumbs up as well. It's really, really appreciated. I actually have the Xbox One Day One edition here, which came with either a choice of Forza 5 or FIFA 14. I went for Forza 5 and uh, yeah, this is awesome. This was available to pre-order. Um, I don't think the day one edition is going to be available after this date, so pretty awesome to get hold of this. Uh, we're going to be taking a look inside. I know it comes with the Xbox One itself, the new Kinect, the new controller, so there's lots of stuff to take a look at. Of course, the PlayStation 4 came out on November the 15th across certain parts of America. Uh, the Xbox One will launch on November the 22nd in some parts of America and some parts of Europe. And then the PlayStation 4 launches again on November the 29th in pretty much the rest of the world. And then for all of the guys that didn't get the Xbox One on November the 22nd, there'll be another release date, which I believe is early 2014. So four dates there. So, um, But once I've showed you inside this, you guys will have seen both the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One on my channel. So that's going to be awesome. I'm going to be doing loads of videos. I've done lots of videos for the PlayStation 4. I'm going to be taking a look. Uh, the differences between a new controller, differences on certain games between the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. It's going to be lots of fun. Now, on the back, there's nothing special. It just shows off the um, Xbox One version of Forza uh, 5 again. Uh, and then it, on the side, oh, it is. it does include, I wasn't sure, it includes a special edition of the Xbox One controller, which is a day one edition. And it says day one 2013 on the controller. So if you manage to pre-order one of these, I guess they're kind of rare, so that's pretty awesome. So it comes actually with a sleeve. We're going to take this part off first. We're going to move move that over to the edge there. We don't need that quite for the moment. And then everything, everything special is inside here. So nothing too much on the front. I guess it sort of mimics the two sort of tone design of the actual console itself. Again, a look at the day one edition of the controller. Again, a look at everything that's going to be included, the main parts. And then we can actually have a look inside. So let's see what we've got in here. Very nice. Okay, I want to make sure you guys see this. I think I'm going to have to put it like this hard doing an unboxing in a closed area but so one thing to note actually before I get into this is the fact the actual differences in the boxes if you care at all Xbox One box is a little bit thicker not quite as large in terms of width and length um, but the PlayStation 4 box was longer and a little bit thinner just something worth noting since we're actually unboxing so what have we got here okay we've got lots of stuff first off let's take a look at this piece here i think i'm going to take out all the pieces separately because it looks like there's a lot of different things to take a look at so we've got the top tier part here let's put that there then we have the actual xbox one system so i'm going to put this to a side for a second and actually have a look at come everything that comes with the top part so if we take a look at the top part here we get the xbox one version of forza 5 as a part of the day one edition, which is awesome. So that's very cool. Can't wait to play that. Um, we also get some manuals, some standard manuals, um, quick setup guide, which I didn't read for the PlayStation 4, probably won't read for the Xbox One, a sticker, which I think is a part of the day one edition as well. So that's quite neat. Um, and then everything you need to sort of make sure everything's set up correctly. But we don't really need to have a look at that, lads. We're MLG pros at the moment. We're, we're good gamers. We don't need that. We're just going to plug it in and get it going. Now, one difference is the fact that the actual power cord with the Xbox One um, comes with a very big power brick to actually power the system itself. So that's how big the actual brick is. PlayStation 4 just has one short cord, but at the end of the day, once you've got it plugged in, do you really notice? Personally, I don't. Once it's all plugged in and you know set up, it's not something that I really notice. But if you do have limited wire space, then I guess it's something worth noting. Uh, so those are all the cables we're going to need in terms of actually powering the console itself, which is going to be cool. And then next up here, we actually have the headset, which comes with um, all of the consoles. This is an improved headset. I'm actually going to take a look at this properly because this is interesting because, of course, the PlayStation 4 version came with uh, its own headset, which didn't have to the PlayStation 3. It was an in-ear uh, earbud. What we've got for the Xbox One is actually a brand new headset goes on one ear like so and then you have the chat uh, microphone there so it's essentially an improved version of the xbox 360 uh, chat cable and chat headset that came with all of those consoles as well which is cool to see and then if we take a look inside here quickly as well this is the part that actually plugs into the controller itself uh, so this part will plug in here which is actually quite a chunky chunky piece of kit um, but the good thing is we've got 
plus and minus for I assume the voice audio that will be coming through this headset and then also a mute button which is very very useful so nice controls there uh, nice looking headset definitely useful a lot of people are going to be using them not sure about the mic quality but hopefully it's good so that people sound nice on Xbox Live it works well for the Xbox 360 so I'm sure it'll be good quality for the Xbox One now next up here actually before I get to the controller we'll have a look at that in a second we actually have um, what looks like, I know what this is, we get a free HDMI cord, again with the Xbox One, which is awesome. We've got that with the PlayStation 4, so a standard HDMI cable. Um, that is awesome if you guys don't have one. Then, very useful, instant setup. You can go straight to full HD uh, with no worries at all in, in terms of cables. Then we have the controller. So if we get inside here, this should be the day one edition of the controller as well, which should be quite neat to have a look at. Oh. That's interesting. Didn't expect that in there. What, what else have we got in here? Have we actually got batteries? Huh. So, this is a different... So, here's the controller. Hopefully you guys can see it okay. Um, it does say Day 1 2013 on there. Very, very cool indeed. I'll be taking a greater look at this controller uh, in a separate video. So, look, up, look out for that. <clears throat> Make sure you're subscribed. It does look very shiny. Very, very nice. I'm going to put that there at the front so you guys can take a look at it. But, something that's a little bit different compared with the uh, DualShock 4, the PlayStation 4 controller. That wasn't, um, that was uh, completely battery free, however it looks like the uh, Xbox One controller can be powered via batteries, but if I'm correct in saying I believe it can also um, be powered just by plugging it in without any batteries as well, so it works either way. So if you have a look on the back here, it comes with batteries, so that's very good, standard. Um, so if we plug these in like so, and then boom, you are locked and loaded and your controller is ready to go. Doesn't feel too heavy even with the batteries inside it. Um, that's nice. Now, I think the actual colour is slightly different. It looks like a sort of chromey silver controller colour. And I think the standard um, Xbox One controller is actually straight black. So I think the colour is slightly different as well for the Xbox One Day One edition of the controller. Next up here, we have the chunky new connect i'm not going to lift this up fully because it's actually very very big and a bit weighty to it now this is very 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 cool though to be fair this is essentially i believe it's called connect 2.0 or you know version 2 and this would be allowed this would be linked in with lots of different games built-in microphone face recognition you know um, lots of uses and uh, this can be placed um, either below your TV and used for lots of awesome games. That is very big though, I'm not going to take that out fully. Let's put that away for the moment though. We've had a look at everything apart from the console itself. So let's go and put that down there. And then actually have a look at the console. So what we have here, just some protection padding to make sure it doesn't get damaged, which is awesome. And then the bad boy itself, this thing. It's pretty damn big. Wow. Okay, let's leave that. Let's let that fall off the table. And then, <laughs> which way is the front? I'm gonna, okay, here we go. So I'm going to be showing you guys the front. Hopefully you can see it's okay. Taking off all the wrapper and everything. Wow. This is the first time I've... Smells like a new, <laughs> new console as well. It's the first time I've had a look at it this close. So what we have here in terms of the top... Of the console is sort of a two-tiered color system or two-tiered design system really um, and I'm going to show you guys the back as well because that's interesting and then at the front here we've got the disc tray which is where all the discs are going to go in I believe this button here is the power button um, for the Xbox One itself it, I like the fact it's flat because it means you can put other stuff on top of it I'm probably going to have uh, a few of the consoles on top of each other so the fact this is flat is very very useful and lots of nice ventings both on the side on the top and then on the side again, and what's interesting is that we have on the side here, uh, I believe that's USB 3.0 SS uh, USB port, which is awesome. And then on the back, um, we have lots, lots of connectors here. So we've got the power connector, we've got the HDMI out, which means you can send a video signal from this console to your screen. However, we also have a HDMI in, which means you can send a HDMI signal from your TV box from any other HDMI source into this console and snap to that video source. So this is going to be hard to sort of explain. I'm going to have a video demonstrating it. It may be up on my channel already or be up in the near future. Look out for that. But it's a very, very cool feature. 
means you can actually send a HDMI feed into here and essentially play both the Xbox One and TV or whatever, whatever, whatever else you've got plugged in at the same time. Uh, we've then got the audio optical lead. We have got the Ethernet port as well and a few more USB ports, the Connect port as well. And I believe that is pretty much everything on the back there. Um, lots of ports and the ability to have HDMI in, which is very, very cool. So I think that is now everything. Hopefully that didn't take too long to cover it all. I'm not sure how long that did take, but lots of awesome, awesome things to take a look at there. We have the controller, we have the console, we have the headsets. I've now covered everything for you guys. And what's next to do is to set this up, share with you guys some gameplay. There may actually be some gameplay already on my channel before this unboxing because of certain dates and stuff that I have to um, follow. But anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you have. If there are any gameplay footages of uh, the Xbox One in action already on my channel, I'll link to it in the description and on screen. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure you're subscribed. Can't wait to give us a go. And I'll see you on the next video.